twin flames, divine feminines and masculines and like it just annoyed me so bad like to sit there and like if anybody follows it and you're like into the divine masculine the divine feminine readings if you pay attention like something's not right about them you'll see a pattern it's always the divine masculines they always call them i'm like why do they call them divine masculines like the divine masculines are uh they're never with the divine feminine the divine masculine is just for your current story the divine masculine is with the karmic and the divine masculine and the karmic are uh the divine masculine and the karmic are basically they're in like in dysfunctional relationships and and it's the, the relationships and the occurrences are like worse than Jerry Springer. And then it's like these people are like gang stalking, you know, the divine feminine. Um, they're trying to set them up. They're doing black magic, even death magic. And I'm like, and you're still calling these males divine masculines. They're doing black magic. They're doing death magic to someone. They're stealing. They're lying with the karmics. And then they're not only like with one karmic. Apparently, these, these divine masculines basically are uh, man whores or they are polyamorous. They have harems. So they have numerous karmics that it seems like most of them are mentally unstable into weird stuff, inappropriate stuff, like to a normal person. Like they know it's wrong. So they hide it from the general public. And I'm like, but they're still calling these guys divine masculines. And supposedly, they're supposed to be the twin flame, the other half of the divine feminine soul that they're partners. And then they sit there and like reinforce this idea that you're supposed to forgive your divine masculine. He just, he's learning. He just doesn't know right now. But he's going to know that, you know, recognize that you're the other part of his soul and he'll come to you. And you know what's crazy? Like out of all the divine feminine, divine masculine stories, the twin flame stories, say if there's like a hundred you only see that two of them actually ever got together and stayed together. In horror stories where divine feminines are sitting there waiting for divine masculine, you know, to remember her, remember their connection and be with her. So these women are sitting there waiting 10, 15, 20, 30 years for their divine masculine and never getting together with them while he's like having a happy life with some other, some woman and having a family. And I'm like, you know how toxic that ideology of fucking twin flames, soulmates. I'm like, there's something wrong with that. And you know what's the crazy part? That so that, that whole ideology is perfect, perfect for narcissists to take advantage of. That if someone thinks that, oh, the divine masculine, or they think is the divine masculine, their soulmate is actually a fucking narcissist and then plays that role talking about their soulmates and twin flames. And that motherfucker can sit there and do whatever he wants. And that person who thinks they're soulmates, twin flames, will sit there and forgive them over and over and over again and wait for them. You know how toxic and fucked up that is? And then the fact, like, the readings, no shit. 
we'll go from one reading of uh, the divine masculine, you know, um, did black magic with the karmic and the karmic's doing this and she put blood magic and, you know, trapped the divine masculine so he's under a spell and so he's doing all kinds of crazy, basically demonic evil shit like a psychopath. And then the next reading is um, the divine masculine loves you. The divine masculine can't let you go. The divine masculine um, just needs time. He's trying to, he feels guilty. He can't leave the karmic because it involves children. Then another reading. Uh, the, the divine masculine ha is polyamorous and has like 10, you know, girlfriends or sister wives and like five of them are doing black magic and they're trying to get rid of the divine feminine because they know that the divine masculine still has a telepathic connection that they don't have and like I'm listening to this and I'm like oh my god you know how much detriment how much dysfunction this stuff is propagating in people and animosity, hatred, and then having a person being used and abused by someone who's probably batshit crazy if that's, if this is really a description of divine masculines. I was like, this is messed up. And from my observation, like the stuff that apparently all these divine masculines are doing is straight up narcissistic, psychopathic, uh, the, some personality disorder. Uh, this shit is not normal. Uh, and from what I understand from my guides, that it is a trap, but it's a designed trap that the divine masculines are not, what they're calling divine masculines are not actually divine. A divine person doesn't do shit like that. And then I'm like, if they're supposed to be divine, when is it, what is the limit that the person is no longer divine? And how is it like normal to think that someone can do toxic shit like that, like try to murder someone with black magic, but then the, n the next moment they're still divine because, quote unquote, they supposedly love someone and that's their other, you know, part of the other half of their soul. I'm like, is it like a light switch? You can do that, go back and forth whenever you feel like it and you're still divine? To me, from what I understand, when you do shit like that, the unthinkable, Evil stuff. That's literally selling pieces of your soul. So I'm like, this shit does not make sense. The stuff that's being propagated and taught. And then it's the same pattern. So what I understand, the divine feminine... is actually the quote unquote, what they call the divine masculine that's doing all this crazy shit that they're calling a divine masculine. I'm like, there's no way they're fucking divine. There's no way. Divine people don't do that. You don't do actions that sell your soul and still call them divine. They're no longer divine. From what I understand, these people are actually being used as a tool because they are so negative, they attract negative. Like attracts like. And they are such a dark negative with the black magic, the energy harvesting, trying to sacrifice people, doing crazy, unthinkable shit, trying to destroy other people, that they actually are being used to uh, attract other negative people. That extreme negative, not like the asshole people, the people that are like, you know, damaged, you know, hurt. Where they still do asshole shit, but they don't go that far. 
They don't go to another level, which I consider evil. That they're being used to round up, attract other dark people who go to another level because they like to hang around with each other because they don't get judged by those people because they do it too. So they do shit together like gang stock. So these quote unquote divine masculines or uh, unbalanced masculines are being used to collect, round up other negative people and the divine feminines or all the divines are being used to like they are that unbalanced person is an assignment for the divine person to just be placed in front of that dark person and then that that divine masculine collects other dark people group them up all together so they do the same negative dark activities to the divine person like it's a lure the divine person hasn't doesn't have to do anything but these people get so jealous so hateful and they do energy harvesting frequency you know sampling and tapping and copying that it puts these people in a such high karmic frequency that literally these people destroy themselves they consume themselves by doing negative shit to the divine person while they're tapped into the divine frequency and getting that level of karma just by placing that divine person in front of them like these people can't help themselves so like I got triggered earlier today listening to it there was like hearing over and over again the same shit Divine masculine involved in dark, crazy stuff. And then the next fucking reading is uh, he loves the divine feminine, but yet he's jealous, uh, controlling, gang stalking, sabotaging her, lying on her so she'll be isolated and alone, that he wants her to wait for him. And then the next reading is, um, but he doesn't want to leave his baby mama. And plus he has like two other, you know, karmic girlfriends that are also doing black magic. And then one of the karmic girlfriends is trying to trap him he has money and she wants his money she doesn't want him to leave him but she has an std and she doesn't care she has an std that's incurable and some of them even it will kill them that it's an std that will kill you that she is on purpose gonna have sex with him so he gets the std and will not leave her And then another one is uh, the karmic is uh, she got pregnant because she's promiscuous. You know, she has a sex addiction. She's basically a nympho that she got pregnant by another guy. And some of them are it's uh, the divine masculine's brother or dad or uncle or best friend. So she's going to lie to the divine masculine and say it's his baby, so um, he's committed to her and she could have money. And then I'm like listening to this, I'm like, holy fuck, what the fuck is going on? And they are calling this guy a divine masculine with no awareness, no, basically no morals, doing black magic, having a harem of different karmics that are all dysfunctional, doing all kinds of crazy fucking worse than Jerry Springer fuck shit. And then one reading, like, I, I kind of lost it. I was like, they go from one reading to, like, he's doing this, and the next one is like, oh, you know, um, he loves you. You just need to wait for him. He's discovering himself, trying to figure some things out. He's a little confused. He doesn't know what to do. Then another reading is, oh, he's starting to learn. He realizes um, that the other, the karmic has an STD, so he's being smart and wearing a condom. And the thing was, the divine masculine did not like condoms. He thought he was invincible 
and has having orgies, polyamorous, and believes he'll never get an STD, doesn't wear condoms, but now the divine, quote-unquote, divine masculine has, he's woken up to the car, now he's wearing a fucking condom. I fucking snapped, yo. I started, like, yelling, talking out loud. I was like, this is fucking ridiculous, like, for three hours. Like, I gave myself a fucking headache. I gave myself a headache. I was like, this shit is fucking ridiculous. It, it makes no sense. And I was like, at what limit is he no longer a divine masculine? He's still a divine masculine trying to murder someone? He's still a divine masculine. He's a divine masculine trying to energy harvest and sacrifice the divine feminine so he can give the energy, the abilities to the karmic, basically clone the divine feminine. But he's still a divine masculine after that. I was like, that makes no sense. But now he's woke. That he's improving himself. I'm like, really? You no, 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 no. It shows that he's even way more I don't want to say uh, the R word or the S word. He's more mentally disabled than we thought. Because he's having sex with numerous females that are as promiscuous as him or even worse that they're straight up demonic trying to give him an STD or trying to trap him with a baby that's not his doing all kinds of crazy shit and lying but he's woke now because he's going to use a condom I was like that's as stupid as someone who's running around their life is shit literally shit they fling shit, they roll in shit, they swim in shit, they deal with shit, other people who are shit, just, just shit everywhere. He's covered in shit. But he's woke because now he de- when he goes and takes a shit, he decides, you know what? I'm going to be woke by using soap and water to wash my hands. But then goes and back, goes back and swims in shit, deals in shit. Messes with shit, like doesn't change his life at all. But he's woke now. You know how crazy and ridiculous that sounds? He hasn't changed his life. He still has a numerous what they want to call karmics that are all as dysfunctional as him or even worse. They don't use any protection or birth control. Having sex with everybody. Then they both like involve in orgies or they're polyamorous, giving two fucks. But now he's woke because he decided to use a condom on one karmic that he realizes is either uh, has an incurable STD that might kill him. And or trying to pin him with the baby that's not his. But he's still going to have sex with her. I was like, wow, that just shows how even more mentally disabled that person that we call a divine masculine is if he thinks that's being woke and making a change in his life. But yet, they're preaching this stuff that that's your other half of your soul, that you should wait for him and forgive him and be understanding and wait for him while he does all kinds of shit, including to the divine feminine. I was like, get the fuck out of here with this shit. Like, I couldn't hear it anymore. I couldn't. Because it was straight ridiculous. And I was like, and people are believing this. I was just yelling for three hours fucking straight. About, like this shit does not make sense and something's wrong and they're propagating um, dysfunction 
if not causing mental instability, making it worse and uh, dysfunctional relationships. Keeping people trapped, caught up with people they should not even be with or have respect for. Like that shit infuriated me. And if you look on Terrorland, that shit is, that's basically mostly Terrorland. It's all love, your soulmate, twin flame. That shit over and over and over again. And I'm like, oh my God. And the fact that the, along with the mental state of the person they're trying to read for can affect the reading. Uh, the mental state of the reader can affect the reading. That person's life experiences, the readers, can affect the reading. Or whatever they're dealing with at the moment can affect the reading. And they just, people just blatantly just, no discernment, no like critical thinking. And it's just keeping them trapped in all kinds of crazy relationships. Situations. I'm hot now. Oh my God. I have a feeling someone's really thinking about me really hard. Oh shit. <sighs> so I went to COD. I was like, me, you know, I was gonna try to stream on COD. Then, like, I was just thinking about weird, random shit. Like, all kinds of stuff. And a lot of it was, like, very dirty. <laughs> and I was like, I need to research, because I do say a lot of jokes, a lot of dirty jokes. And I, I was like, I need to research what, how far I can go before it will get me in trouble on Twitch. Cause I was like, like I was just trying to relax and I was trying to like say like funny, dirty jokes to myself. And then all these dirty memories came up, like funny stuff. And like some of the stuff I used to like, like when I was hang out with friends, I would talk about it and like make everybody laugh. And then I was like, man, I've been in such like, disturbing situations where like I'm like I've been traumatized like I don't like I'm very like paranoid about males especially and, and females dealing with people and then having like personal relationships with a male like I'm kind of like turned off like like severely turned off and it's been like that for a while now and um well, in the game that I played, it made me laugh. I guess I was like, why, why? Like, I haven't thought about shit for a while in that way. But I guess I think, like, my guides or my universe was trying to, like, cheer me up and make it funny. And so I was a little bit kind of, like, racist today. But it's a funny racist. There was, uh, there was one guy that actually had a mic and he was talking. And in my head, I was like, it was a white guy. He sounded like older, like more mature, but he didn't sound ghetto or anything. He sounded, I was like, he's kind of turning me on because this sounds racist because he was a white guy and he sounded like he was mature, like he had a stable job and good credit. I was like, that's hot. I was like, that's fucking racist. But that's kind of still hot, though. That he, he didn't sound like he was insane. He sounded like he had a good job and good credit. And he didn't sound like he had a harem. But who fucking knows? That was just an assumption. But that was like a racist moment I had. That was funny. He had a good job. And that good credit. I have no idea what I'm gonna do here. Then, then it went to. 
not actual sex, but like funny stories, like sex facts. And I was wondering, can I do that on Twitch? I need to look that up. So I can like tell like the stuff that I was like thinking and I was saying out loud the jokes that like the stuff that my guides were like making me remember to be funny. And I was like, I want to share that stuff. But I was like, I I don't know what will get me like in trouble for a little while. I need to verify the extent of what would be considered like sexual, sexual with weird like sex biology facts that be considered inappropriate even though it's biological facts uh, and statistics that are funny that I had learned one couple of times just to I just like to learn weird facts oh my god I'm burning up Then there's notorious Arabs and cat sips and a lana ray. Edgelet is new. I've never noticed Edgelet. Then I had like incidences that were related to sex that were funny but kind of not funny when you really thought about it. I was like, yeah, I need to do some research to know my limit. That will get me in trouble. (laughs) I have no idea what to design here. How I'm going to design it. It'll show up eventually in my head, but that's why I like, I want other people here with me. Plus it'd be nice to socialize instead of me just fucking getting all triggered about shit, just screaming to myself or to my guides or whatever, or whoever's listening. Like my friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I go around saving people. Probably like made them fucking spit up water and soda a couple times just from laughing for some random shit that I say or my guides say and I just repeat it. Or the conversations or weird stuff that they point out to me. Since they like to cuss too and say all kinds of crazy stuff that you would, people were like, oh, your guides, they don't cuss and they don't do that. Yes, they do. It's like I say, they're an extension of you. And they present the information just like the universe does. Just like how God is in all the religions, but God comes to you in the best way that you can understand. So it's an extension of you. So what is your spiritual battle team? They're only as strong as you are. When you upgrade yourself, your battle team gets upgraded. You get access to more knowledge, more gifts, more protection. And like different levels of knowledge too. Apparently, as you can see, like the knowledge is getting more almost like sci-fi-ish, Star Trek. But like when you look at it, it makes sense. Even though you don't be- you don't have to believe in it, you're like, hey, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> the way the the, uh, connections are. (sighs) Ow, 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 ow. I need to fucking get prescribed glasses. And then ones that fit my head because it's so square. And then I want to, um, I need to redo, ooh.
All I need to decide because I didn't notice these lines are not like even. I did. I needed to decide how the sections, the spacing, and then I need to redesign the pillars some way. But I don't know, like the corner ones, I like the clean look, but then I don't like the clean look. Like I like the clean look, but then I'm like, I want a little bit more, but I don't want it too much. And then I kind of want it, but I don't want to do more work. Like all this mountain where this arena is at, I, when I first put it, I was like, I am not digging up the mountain. I am not doing that. What did I do? I dug up the whole fucking mountain. But I want to build extra structures down here, like Vegas. But then I'm like, I want to kind of move the water over. But I'm like, I kind of don't want to do it because... I <laughs> just don't want to do it. That's why I want other people with me. So they can do their own creative stuff. So maybe I can learn or just interact and build a large community. So, because I actually wanted to bring the river out to, if not up to the pillars, or just engulfing the pillars. Engulfing the pillars. And then I need to finish furnishing all these rooms. I think I only did like one section. They're all supposed to be party rooms. And then since I dug up the mountain, I gotta decide what, if I'm gonna keep that platform. Um, am I gonna put more structures here, like more rooms? And then how much of this is going to be grass? And how many structures what they're going to be used for? Probably like another uh, type of an outdoor park. I don't think I'll deep further dig further down because I still have another section of what I wanted where I wanted to basically build an underground bunker. And then I have to finish the, uh, uh, what is it called, the, the room where they do all the, uh, where those guys speak, what the fuck, I forgot, where the new stuff is at, I guess, this section. Since I actually watched videos of people, how you can build things that actually look like TVs and stuff and desks and all that, so I need to do that for this part. And then, um, 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 and I'm thinking I might, extend it out to there? I don't know, and then down? Out there, I don't know. Then, yeah, it goes upstairs too. So I don't know if it's going to be another party area, conference area. I still remember, man. I'm still traumatized when I come here. When that random person came into my Minecraft and fucking dynamite, dynamite in my arena and I wanted to fucking cry. 
I was like, what a fucking dick. And then he was.